back guys Johnny Keck over at AMP Futures thank you for tuning in in today's video we're going to show you how to create uh, configurations in terms of saving configurations for attached orders in Sierra charts uh, if you're not familiar with attached orders basically OCO functions the ability to create uh, bracket orders or multi-level brackets uh, there's a lot of flexibility with Sierra charts in terms of creating OCO orders uh, so we're going to show you once you create parameters and once you create a specific OCO strategy you can go and save that configuration, you can label it so it's just easier for you to identify if you want to go back and use that same attached order configuration at a later date. Uh, so we're going to show you how to do that now in this video. Uh, let's pull up the platform. And let me just show you a quick example. I'm going to do it off the dome here. So I'm just going to open up a trading dome for the September Mini S&P contract. And this is what the dome looks like. So if you're not familiar with attached orders, basically when you have a dome or if you have a trade window attached to your chart, uh, for example, here, to show real quick what it looks like, the Targets tab. So from the Targets tab is where you can create bracket orders or you can create OCO strategies. So by default, there's going to be some pre preset CAN configurations that are already there for you. For example, the two targets with break-even stop, two targets with common stop, and simple bracket. Uh, that particular one I created. But, uh, let me show you basically what you would do. So first things first, you're going to create your bracket strategy whether it's a single bracket or a multi-level bracket, whatever the case may be. So I'm just going to create a basic example here. So let's just say uh, target one, I'm just going to set it for eight ticks, which would be a two-point profit, and then stop would be eight ticks as well, which would be a two-point uh, two stop loss. All right, so that's a very simple configuration. All right, now let's say that you want to you want to go back and name it. So let's just say, for example, if I hit the menu option here, you'll see a button here that says Save Configuration. So you're going to have to click back over to the main tab and you have to click the M button to the right of Cancel All. Uh, M basically represents menu, and then you're going to want to click Save Configuration. So when you save the configuration, now you just name it anything you want. So for example, I'll just call it today's date, 6-29-2016. I'm going to hit Save. And now if you hit the drop down menu up here, you can go and select that configuration. So it's just an easier way to get to to the uh, specific configuration that you may be using. Perhaps uh, there's a consistency in terms of how you place trades and how you utilize the attached order configurations and you don't want to go in there and make those changes every single time when you go to place the trade. And that's pretty much what the configurations are, are designed for. Let me give you one more example. That's kind of a basic example, but let's get a little more complex here. So if I start adding, let's say, multiple targets, if I want to create a multi-level bracket, for example, so now I have two targets here. Let's add one more. So now let's say first target, I want to scale that at four ticks, which is one point. Second, which is eight ticks, which is two points on the mini S&P, that is. And then 12 ticks, which is three points. And we'll leave the stop for all three contracts at eight ticks. So this is a multi-level bracket that's scaling out at three different target levels. And I'm going to peel them off at one contract apiece. And then let's say if I execute a three lot, the stop loss will be, uh, basically, it'll be for all three contracts. All right, so now I'm going to go back to the main tab. And I'm going to go ahead and hit the M button here. Hit Save Configuration once again. And I'll just call this multi-level bracket, for example. All right, now I hit save. All right, and then I change my quantity. Of course, this is a strategy that's designed for three. And always forget, uh, don't forget, you always have to hit use attached orders to make sure the strategy is going to be applied. And now you can see there's a match, and you can see the multi-level bracket is there. If I hit the drop down menu, you can always go back to the 629 2016 that I've created or I can just simply use the multi-level bracket. Uh, there's no limitation. You can create as many of these configurations as you need. It's just basically an easy way to save the settings that you've made for any OCO strategy you've created within Sierra Charts. And that's a short demonstration on how to create uh, configurations for using attached orders within Sierra Charts. If you have any questions about this, please contact our 24-hour support team at 312-893-6400, extension 1. Gets you directly to our help desk. Otherwise, guys, stay up to date on our YouTube channel. Uh, we're very proactive in keeping you up to date on our products. The URL is www.youtube.com forward slash AMP Futures. Again, that's www.youtube.com forward slash AMP Futures. Thank you for listening in. Have yourself a great day. And happy trading.